Welcome to April 3rd's episode of Whiskey Week in Review. Today we're going to look at two new releases, my latest interview on the Whiskey Influencer Instagram account, and then my five favorite reviews of the week. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe below. So let's kick this off by taking a look at a couple of new releases that were announced over the last week, uh, one of which you'll probably be able to get, the other one you will probably not be able to get. So let's start with the one that is going to be more accessible, and that one is a new Craig Alecky 13-year-old. This one will be bottled at 46% and finished in Armagnac casks, so that adds a nice unique twist to their standard 13 year old i think uh it'll be basically their 13 year old with an additional year of aging in that armagnac cask to add some of those uh um, grapey fruity notes at the end there uh should be available later this year right around 52 pounds um and then uh, eventually it'll come make its way to the united states but uh you know craig alecky one of those distilleries that um has that unusual age statements on it 13 years 17 years 23 years instead of the standard 12 18, 21, um, but uh, a very nice, uh, good valued space side whiskey. This one will be interesting to try out, especially if you are a fan of their standard 13 year old whiskey. Now, if we take a look at the one you'll probably never be able to try, that is a Glen Scotia 46 year old. Uh, this will be the oldest official bottling of Glen Scotia. Uh, ever uh, right around 41 percent and this one will come in right around nine thousand pounds um, it seems like it's a obligatory for me to have at least one Campbelltown story on here so here is uh, this week's mention of the Glen Scotia 46 year old only 150 bottles will be available worldwide now let's take a look at my interview for this week um, I had Shelly from one of my favorite online whiskey shops that is the really good whiskey company if you head over to my Instagram page, you can see my conversation I had with her as we uh, discussed uh, her favorite whiskeys and we shared three different drams. We had the Springbank 10, Deanston 18, and the Port Charlotte 10 year old. Here are our thoughts on those, plus a whole uh, variety of topics, along with how really good whiskey company started and um, you know some of the stuff that's going on there. Very cool interview. Definitely recommend going over to the Instagram account and checking that out. Um, and on that note, let's go take a peek at my five favorite uh, reviews of the week, the first of which is actually on Instagram, and that one is Johnny Days, who is the Waking Dram, uh, discusses his thoughts on the most recent local barley by Springbank. This is their 10-year-old uh, local barley, the one that uh, nobody basically was able to get because they sell out so quickly. He was lucky enough to grab one, check out his thoughts on it. Uh, maybe not quite as glowing as you'd expect from a Springbank release, but go, go to his uh, Instagram account, check out his review. Very good stuff. Uh, next on the list is uh, a unique uh, a whiskey imitation, we'll call it, by ETOH. Vin from No Nonsense Whiskey um, tastes the uh, nine-day-old spirit that has been hyper-aged by ETOH. You know, this kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, going to a sushi restaurant and getting uh, imitation crab in your sushi. It's not actual uh, crab meat, but uh, that's what they call it. That's kind of like what ETOH, but hopefully it uh, does fool you and, uh, you know, is a good imitation whiskey. So take a look at the link below and uh, check out Vin's YouTube review of this spirit next on the list is uh bills from the whiskey dictionary tasting through the octomore uh 10 50 the octomore 10 year fifth edition you know that's uh brook laddie's super peated whiskeys go and take a look and see what he thinks of it you can take a look at some of his uh tasty notes there but check out the link below for his full review, whether he thinks it's worth the price and what his general impressions are of that whiskey. Next on my list is the Mash and Drums 
review of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A122. Um, anybody who follows my Instagram account knows that uh, I'm not a big bourbon drinker, but when I do drink bourbon, one of my favorites are the, is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and they just recently came out with their A122. That's their first batch of 2022, and. Uh, here, Mash and Drum, they talk about whether it uh, elevates the 2021 uh, releases a little bit, if it's a little bit better than those, and uh, whether he thinks this is a good buy worth seeking out. Go take a look at the, the link below and check out this review. And then finally, my last review of the uh, week, my last favorite review is the Kill Karen 16 year old. Uh, and you can take a look at the quick score right there, but that's not why you want to take a look at the link below. You get to check out a uh, more in depth thought about this release. Um, and I picked this one because uh, Kill Karen 16 to me is a, an exceptional whiskey. It's one that I really, really enjoy. And um, the Dram Face team, they weren't quite as high on it as I was. So uh, definitely worth taking a look at this, checking it out. And uh, let me know what you think about this. Uh, link, of course, is below in the description. Um, so that will do it for this week's edition of Whiskey Week in Review. Uh, definitely comment and like below. That definitely helps with my uh, exposure and my reach. So that'll be helpful. And I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Thank you.